All right then. The Library of Yore. So, I've never done this like, you know, level before, so what to expect? I do not know. Alright, so... We got an alien Star Trek, it's got Interstellar Calling, summon a meter uh, to grids within range, dealing 13 damage to units within and creating a random object, and boost gain power for one turn. No traits. We are still a back strike, so deal damage to target. If target is facing away, launch an additional one strike. So basically, you want to basically watch out for, you know, facing away from these guys. And Phantom Evade, getting ghostly for one turn. Hmm. I'm trying to figure out how I want to basically attack these guys. Let's go over here. So, we've got flanking bombs as well as push them over here. Out of the way. It's interesting how it's like this guy's attacking her, but you know, he's attacking these squares here. Let's go there. some damage there. I'm not bothered he started injured, but you know, hopefully he's gonna heal up here a little bit. You're still injured, but whatever, it's fine. Let's give her a speed barrier up, and then we'll go stand by. And I'm just gonna fire right here. There we go. Oh, we got an airdrop basically happened there. So this guy's dropping meteor down. That's gonna be annoying, but oh well. We can deal with that. As far as he goes, I guess. There's a nice kill. Let's go here here. A bit damage there. So she healed up. He's on fire and as well as the other guy, but oh well. Let's do that. You're on fire, but oh well, that's fine. Push. She almost leveled up. So let's see here. Deal additional 7 damage if the tire is burning, otherwise inflict 2 stacks. 
Redulate damage. It's got a nice range to it. We're gonna get this. Let's get this, I guess. Mary level 5. Yeah, I forgot to check what these have. So you have like airdrop and airdrop. Yeah, I forgot to put the timer on. You should probably do that now. And I'll say we've been going for like, tw you know, a few minutes here. So we'll start a few minutes less. Alright, who we got here? We have... Memory Fragment. This guy's got Bleeding Charge, so charge to the selected grid, dealing damage to targets along the path. So he basically damages everything. And has a chance to um, grant them bleeding. And he's got Defense and Distraction. Turn it toward a attacker who attacks you from an arc grid. And we got the Fishbone Fishing Rod. He's got Long Traction, deal damage to target and pull it closer. He's got Vade, and he's got Slime Recall. When attack, move one grid away from an attacker and leave a wet grid. Interesting. I kind of wish I had more folk too now. I think it's gonna like, you know, it's blowing the air of tiles, so... Probably don't want to do that. I'll work a little bit. Alright, so he's gonna basically charge right there. I'm not sure I can really do much, so let's just go like, do that. We're gonna do this. I'll apply that to him. That still says some fire, by the way, so. It wasn't perfect. Dash him, I guess. You get pulled. See, everyone gets, gets to bleed a little bit there. I should take damage, or is it because of bleeding? Yeah, basically because like, she's bleeding, she like dances when she moves around, so... <clears throat> Set this guy on fire. Okay, we got rid of those fires there. He's not moving very far this time, so... I'm first gonna take some fire damage here because, you know, I moved too close to the airdrop, but oh well. We got rid of him. Let's go here. Heal him up a little bit.
There's a blunder. Go here. Oh, I should have gotten like right up to him, but you know, whatever. I was hoping I'd kill it, but whatever. The soul. Interesting sort of enemy that sort of like, you know, moves around and makes it you know, an issue for you, but whatever. Hmm. I'll take that one. I know I can't actually use these because I don't actually have any space for them, but whatever. We'll pick them up. Nothing new here. Let's go here, and let's go like this. <clears throat> Set him on fire, apparently. He's not really that much of a threat. This guy is a bit more of a threat, so... Let's do this. Do some damage to him. I may miscalculate here. I thought this guy could move a backfire, but I don't think he can, so. Oh well. Attack from over there. Let's do all that. At least you can move up to here. Keeps backing this guy. There we go, we killed them off. You did ghostly apparently. You're missing one HP. You're missing none. You're missing none. I think what I just want to do here is just, you know, heal up for next time. Push.
Go here. Now let's go like this. Interesting, he still got pulled. Let's go here then. Let's do some damage there. And there we go. Nice easy battle. Have I already got synergy? Let's get this. So we got Seesaw now. So Seesaw. The battlefield tilts based on a number of units on both sides. Attacks from a higher altitude deal more damage and vice versa. Okay. Interesting. I'm tempted to go do this right now, so let's just spend our Tapsuma here. Why not buy this for the hell of it? It spends money. Buy this. Refresh this. Get this for sure. There's a stat booster I probably want to get, so we'll sell that. I don't think I'm ever going to use that. Or that. Look at this. Look at this for you. Because why not? And... Let's keep it simple. We'll buff up him. Alright, so. Difficulty selector. The room is filled with various prototypes and measuring devices of unknown use. One device with a large red switch and an instruction sheet be besides it stands out. The instruction sheet promptly states, Please take it away. In bold red letters. Underneath there is a smaller text. The smaller text reads, This device, known as the Difficulty Selector, distorts the user's perception of the world to alter the difficulty of their journey. Since it has resulted in several fatalities, please apply to the administrator before using it. P.S. While its scientific principle remains a mystery, it seems that placing a please take it away note is necessary to activate the device. Alright, take the device, engage in difficult combat, and lock harm mode. So here's a hard mode for this game. Just a straight place of the device instruction sheet in their backpack. A horde of hostile storms in their doodle room. A fight is inevitable. Well, let's get to definitely basically out of the way. Did the uh, thing just like change the background? Here's an elite. So here's the curator. He's a mutant. So, deal 18 damage to target and grant time binding for one turn. That will basically, at the end of a turn, as you can teleport back to the original grid at the start of a turn. Wait a time. So, deal 3 damage to a target's in range and grant them stun. Or boost. So this guy I want to get rid of, like, right away. There's also Peeping Eye. He's got Petite, so he can take up one less grid space for range to retaliate. And he's got Gaze. So he's a ranged type of character. We got Panic Sparecrow. He's got large size, so he takes up more grid. He's got Team Parry. Intimidation. 
This guy makes you run away. And we got the Voodoo Puppet. This guy's got Dying Curse. Upon death, grant a killer free stack of fragile, so... I want probably want to kill this guy last, maybe? This guy probably want to kill first, so... The airdrop's coming over here, by the way. Slam him. Today I just want to, you know, keep it range. They're crammed. I want to stun this guy, so... Slam in. So you're doing Team Perry, this guy? Alright, that's not too bad. Parry just means like you know, one attack, the attacker is in front of you, it loses one stack and reduces incoming damage, so... Actually, not sure what this guy's doing. No, he's doing Intimidate Gas, so he's gonna try and damage push this guy away. Okay. Okay, it's large, I can't move right there, so... We're just gonna stick here anyway, since I keep going after this guy, so... It's fine. More damage there. Let's move here. I mean, these guys are gonna attack us over here, but you know, I'm gonna take some damage in this one. Just want to try and burn this guy, this guy down as fast as possible. I think. I think something died over there. I'm not really sure. Let's go here. And we're just going to cut. Ow. Well, at least the low ground is going to help. Move the way. you stunned. Keep slamming him. They're trying to intimidate again. Move here. Let's do a regular slam on this guy. Down he goes. Move your view. Stop. Over here. So I actually even out the ground a little bit here. Now it's basically, you know, tilted this way. Move here, I'll go.
Like that. Oop! I set the barrel on fire. I didn't realize I could do that. Let's do some damage there. There's reinforcements, apparently. Let's do that. Huh, I left this guy without a square to go to. That's kind of annoying. Ow. Because it's tilted, so it's not really great for that either. Let's do this. Healing shot. I want this guy here, so move it. I might set him fire, would be annoying. Can't move? Why can't he move? Well, that's not great. I just got the giant curse on him. Oh, yeah, he got shackled because, you know, he killed the thing. Ow. Tilt the ground a little bit. There's some damage to him. Oh, more reinforcements, why not? Do that so I can keep those guys away from me for a little bit. Do it yourself. All right, that was that guy, finally. Push it. Slam it. Speed him up. Get over here. Oh! They're hostile. And I got the special anti. Who wants to see this guy again?
Hopefully this kills him. Ow. Kill yourself up a little bit, I guess. And let's go for the big old, old like, you know, slam. Alright, there we go. 50% chance to gain 1 AP from a corp attack, that's not bad. There's a quick fix. When resting, restore 50% HP for nearby allies when HP below 25%. Honestly, it's ever been good, by the way, because, you know, you have to have very low HP for it to work, but whatever. It's a generator. So we got hard mode unlocked. Now I can try challenging and brutal challenges. I'm tired of doing an elite, but you know, these guys are at half power right now, so. Let's get this going. I'm just gonna heal up. I'm gonna put that right there. Maybe we'll get that for him for now. We're coming to like the end of this episode, but let's just do one more fight and then we'll, you know, clear and finish off. There's someone new. So we got ourselves the Primordial Asphalt. He's got heavy blockage, so he can't move room very easily. He's got a tire split. Generate two lesser tire upon death and large size. It's got large frost, large frost, so basically, like, you know, heavy tank. Got all the good stuff. Let's go here and let's, like, you know, push him. Ugh, he likes to move very real close to you, too. That's annoying. Gale Butterfly, Hampering Gust, so... Deal 9 damage to targets within range and grant slow, so you pick everyone. That's annoying. I'm just gonna do that, move out back, I think. And I want you guys, you basically charge four, I think, so. Let's do that. I like how you got stunned there. You stop being stunned. Well, that's annoying, but whatever, I can deal with it. Let's get here. Just start smacking that guy a little bit. Interesting. That'll work. Let's put you on standby. There's no stopping this guy this time, I don't think, so... Do that.
Ouch. That's still hit, apparently. That's annoying. There's a rock I could pick up, but whatever. Do that. Move here. We drop down to meters again, which is annoying, but oh well. I'm just gonna touch something. If I push this, is it gonna hit this guy? It doesn't hurt her, so that's nice. Perfect. You're hitting all there. You're hitting right there. Hitting right there. It's definitely getting a lot more tactical as we go along here now. Just gonna stun him for a bit. Do that. We'll go here. Ah, that wasn't really a great move, but whatever. It works well enough. Back here. That worked. And that guy drained his tar. That's obstructed. That's done. Go here. I was hoping to look better than that, but oh well. He's almost dead. Let's try to keep him alive a little bit. I'm gonna leave her there for now. And we're gonna try to um, damn it! So I can't actually do that. I was gonna like hope to you know slam him, but I don't have the time to do it. So oh well. Throw stone. There, that works. Ouch! He's almost dead again. I got the special entity again. And of course, the extra attack is, you know. Here we're in the back.
Yeah, I don't want to be near the, you know, the monitor when, you know, he basically goes off, so... Hmm. Let's go here. No more hurt for it to really go. Unfortunately. Do a damage I can, I guess. Unfortunately, I position these guys, so they're gonna get hit regardless, so. Get rid of one of them, I guess. Oh, you're attacking this way. Good to know. Sort of good. You missed. Oh, you just didn't attack. That's all you did. I can actually move this guy by way, so. We'll go here and we'll do this. that one. I was hoping I could push this, but I guess not, so... Just smash it. I'll leave the barrel base to deal with. Oh, great, more guys are popping in still. Do you want to attack everything around us? Let's just do that. Heal him up a little bit. Screw that. Push. Run away. Oh, you get more of them too. That's good to know. Some more of them pop out as you keep going on. 
Good to know. I assume you can't kill him, but you know, is it worth it to do? Is the question? Go here. Push. I can't move him, but I can't charge him, so. Oop, they attacked him instead. Well, I guess we can kill this one. I'm just staying in the corner here, but it's working, so... Let's go here. He's not doing anything yet, so... We'll do that. You know, it's kind of annoying how they basically keep popping in like this. It makes it like, you know, ever longer basically do. And these guys are sort of like, you know, keep going, so... You're stunned, so you can't really do anything. I'll damage him a little bit. Blue died. Is this guy I'm really worried about? Not really this guy, so... This guy's gonna have a barrel drop on him and he's gonna hurt as well, so... Let's get rid of him. Let's keep smashing him, I guess. Ow! It only hits one of them. That's good enough. Across the narrow one appears on top of me. So do some damage to him. Of course they're crammed now, but whatever. 
Can't get through them. Almost got him down. Well, I got myself, like, you know, an achievement for killing that guy, I guess. And of course, you know, fire. Everywhere. Do that. He runs away. I need to worry about you know the ambush still happening or reinforcements, so we'll go here. Do all that. Hmm. Do this. Move here. I should heal up, you know, straight air, but whatever. Well, that's a lot longer than I expected to be for a small battle like that, but whatever. There's lunch and meat again. We got bottled arc. So, deal damage to target and release electric arc. Um, the arc deals damage to, uh, Number of chapters, damage to target, and has a chance to bounce to another nearby enemy. So, this is a, a chapter based weapon, so you basically have like, you know, two times four divided by two. So, it'd have like um, four damage to um, arc space to a target. Not bad. Interesting. Look at that, why not? You know, I'm tempted to keep going, but, you know, let's just end it right here. It's going to be a little bit of a longer episode because, you know, I wasn't really paying attention to time, but whatever. It's a good one to basically show off, like, you know, just how hard, like, the Library of Yore basically is. So, I hope you guys basically enjoy it. Take care.